Warren, uh, what has the, uh, the message been to the players over the last sort of fortnight or so since the Australia game? The um, message has just been about continuing to improve as a side, really just take one game at a time. We know we're in the quarterfinals, but we want to finish top of the group and um, we're not really thinking about the quarterfinals. It's, it's about finishing this off, uh, trying to win four from four. Um, the guys have, uh, you know, we had a few days off, which was great with families and stuff, and then got back into it sort of later in the week last week, and you know, there's been a bit of edge around training, and the boys have been really focused, been really pleased with their whole attitude and approach to, to this game. That's obviously a pretty intense start to the tournament with the way the schedule fell. How have you kept the players engaged, really, in, in the last sort of week or so, building up to this one? It's been easy. I haven't had to do anything. I've been incredible in the way that they've prepared themselves. I thought uh, today, just before training, they did some, some stuff on their own, both the forwards and the backs. Uh, you know, guys doing a little bit of stuff on the scrumming sled. Um, and from a coaching perspective, that's exactly what you want. Guys taking their own responsibility for preparing for matches. And like I said, they've been outstanding and I couldn't be more pleased with the way they've prepared so far uh, this, this week and at the end of last week. Just lastly for me, Dewey, after not being involved against Australia, how much are you looking forward to, to going out on the field on Saturday? Yeah, obviously it's exciting to get uh, some game time again and um, be back involved with Georgia, but I thought the boys did an unbelievable, unbelievable job against Australia. Um, and yeah, it's just exciting for me to get uh, back on the pitch. Gareth? Thank you, Bill. Okay. Dewey, I'm leading your country in a World Cup game. You've done it once. I mean, can you just describe what it's like? Yeah, like I said before, I probably think you don't get to, to take the experience in, uh, you know, prepping a lot through the week. And, um, you know, once you get to the to the game, you're sort of focused on on that and and performing in the game. So you don't really think too much about, uh, I suppose, being the captain or having the opportunity to lead, you know, your team out of the, of the World Cup. I think that'll come after maybe and, and hit me after that I've had the opportunity to do it. But I think... Uh, you know the focus and the preparation has been on on Georgia and and the game ahead for Saturday and you know that's all we're all thinking about. Well, uh, it's the fourth time Wales breached the court final under you in terms of could be the second time tournament in a row you win all group games. What's the secret to um, being uh, World Cup uh, in, the, in the pool stage has been successful? Oh, I don't think there's any secret. I think it's just hard work. Um, I've always spoken in the past about the opportunity in uh, in World Cup. Years with the extended preparation you get, the time you get with the players, the detail you can put into things. Um, these guys have worked extremely hard in the camps that we had at the Vale when we went to Switzerland and Turkey. That's put us in a you know, good stead and good shape in terms of being able to take our game forward, um, being, being confident and comfortable playing for 80 minutes. I think the detail of the other coaches and the work that they've been, put in, been able to put in, uh, you know, we've seen a significant improvement. Uh, and our understanding defensively. I think some of our kick chase and kick strategy has been, been excellent. The boys have implemented the game plans that we've put together outstandingly well. Uh, that They have clarity about what they're trying to do and trying to achieve. And um, like I said, I've been really, really impressed with um, their attitude, their focus, and you know the way they've gone out and performed in the game. So I, I think earlier on in the tournament, we didn't get enough credit for, for what we had done. Um, it's, I think if people look back, it's, it's not an easy group. There's actually some good sides in this group, and we know how, how tough uh, Fiji were, but Portugal a good side as well, and um, George is going to be a good challenge for us on Saturday. Elgin? Uh, hi, Warren. Uh, when you, well, four years ago, when you left the role of head coach, you said you'd be heartbroken if you saw Welsh rugby go into the doldrums. That result in November against Georgia when you were sort of watching on as a neutral observer. What, what do you remember sort of seeing and, and feeling that was, was going on that day? I, I only watched the, the first half. I was on my way to Twickenham um, for, for a game there. So, you know, I thought at half time, um, yeah, Georgia are a tough team to put away. And uh, so, I, you know, I, I was confident that, that uh, Wales uh, would win that game. Um, but, you know, it's, it's a learning process for everything and 
uh, yeah, unfortunately things come a little bit unstuck in the last 10 minutes and, and that sometimes can happen in games but um, you know, we're not looking back, we haven't spoken about that as a group at all, uh, we're just completely looking forward from our own, own perspective, uh, like I said we're pleased the position that we're in at the moment, the progress we've made as a, as a group, the progress that the coaches have made as well and, and all the support staff and we're excited about where we are and you know, we're looking forward to, um, as I said uh, a few months ago, going deep into this tournament. And I asked you, obviously, you named the, the team a few days ago. Could you just talk to sort of what, what went into the thought process of keeping a mostly first-choice team but with a, with a few changes? Um, yeah, that was about continuity. That was about giving players an opportunity with a, a pretty much of a settled side and, and wanting players to continue to um, you know, have that continuity with, a, with, with some changes coming in. And it's, it's a heck of a lot easier sometimes for when you make sort of four or five changes for that to to happen, um, and sometimes when you make wholesale changes, it's you know it's quite difficult to get that co that sort of continuity or um, that you, you might have had from the say potentially from a game before. So uh, that was pretty much the thinking about it. So um, you know, we rested a few players. Um, if you look at the back row, we spoke about making. You know, make perhaps an, another change in the back row, but we've kept uh, Aaron Wainwright and uh, Tulupe Falatau in, in the back row, and Tommy Rafael com comes in. He gets a gets an opportunity to impress and kept the two props, and, and Dowie comes in as well there. So, you know, not a not a not a huge amount of changes. So we think that um, you know, like I said, we want to keep building on the confidence, and I think we can do that with the guys we've brought in, brought in, and it's a it's a real opportunity for them, and I think. Like I said, if we'd made eight or nine changes, then you don't get quite that same consistency of uh, of a team performing, and it's a, it's a lot easier. So that that was very much our, our thinking for this, and and with huge amount of respect for for Georgia, and I think traditionally in the past they were very much a set piece orientated team and relied on their forwards up front and their scrum and stuff. But they've definitely developed their game. They, they throw the ball around. I thought they were really good against uh, Fiji last week, and and. We're unlucky not to convert a few other opportunities that, that sort of came their way um, and could have been easily um, more than nine points ahead at half time. So, you know, we're expecting a really tough challenge from them. We know that they're a side that never give up and they'll go to 80 minutes. And so we've got to be make sure that we're, we're really focused for the weekend. Thank you. Alex? Hi Warren, you've had a couple of games against Georgia in the past. Do you see certain similarities between Georgia and Wales in terms of how rugby's so important to the nation and, and also the two cultures that the, the countries have? Um, yeah, if, if, you, if you look at that, we did a uh, we had a little bit of a history lesson this morning before we um, uh, went to training about some of the things about Georgia and you know they're a proud nation, you know, a small nation. Uh, you know, we'd like to think that when we're at our best, it's sometimes with our backs to the wall and, and never giving up. And you know, they epitomise that sort of attitude in terms of uh, what rugby means for them. It's a national sport. Um, and the great thing about Georgia is, is, is seeing the seeing rugby grow in, in, in that country and the success they've had at, at club club level, um, under the 20s performing well as also. So I think that's. Um, yeah, and you want some, you know, want a country like Georgia to to continue to develop. And um, you know, like I said, they've definitely expanded the game in the way that they played. And uh, you know, hopefully they'll continue to get better. And just lastly, for me, can I ask you a bit of a random one? Could you sum up the role that Caroline Morgan plays in the, in the national squad? How important she is? Oh, she she's the matriarch sort of thing. So, um, yeah, she organises us from day to day. So she's she's kind of that mother figure that. Uh, the boys go and see, and uh, um, she probably does a lot of things behind my back that I don't know in terms of helping out the boys when they need need something from her. So um, you know, she's been important in this environment for a long time in terms of um, you know what she does behind the scenes. She doesn't often get a lot of recognition for it, um, but she's very much valued from a staffing perspective and from a playing perspective in terms of what she brings to the national team. So she's she is very important to us. Uh, hi Warren, uh, we've just been speaking to the Georgians and they predict that this game will, will be about who makes the least mistakes. Uh, do you share that viewpoint? Yeah, well, I thought um, 
one of the aspects of last week was was so pleasing was that um, we gave away less than ten penalties. It was nine penalties, and we had nine turnovers in the game. And so, and you're playing a quality side like Australia, uh, and if you and you have nine turnovers in a game, you put yourself in a pretty good position to to win it. So, you know, that's definitely been one of the things that we've spoken about. Um, continuing to build momentum in games, uh, being smart about how we manage manage the game and. And all these games, it doesn't matter who you're playing against. You know that first 20 minutes or the first 30 minutes of the game can be can be pretty tight because everyone's pumped up and everyone's fresh and um, and making things difficult. So you know sometimes you've got to keep your patience. And um, you know it's definitely about um, making sure that you're accurate. And uh, you know it's definitely been one of the things that we have we have worked on. And and I thought it was. You know, very pleasing last week and how we managed that and like I said nine turnovers in, a, in an international game um, at the highest level is, is pretty outstanding. Uh, you said pre-tournament you would surprise a lot of people. You have. When did that... I surprised you, have I? <laughs> I think, yeah, you surprised a lot of Welsh people because of what's happened in the previous year. Um, Welsh rugby was in, in a mess a year ago, um, strikes etc. A lot of players were down and You've turned it around. When did that belief come in, or were you always firmly with that mindset? Um, I think the, there was a lot of things happening off the field, and that obviously had a, um, a significant impact that I probably didn't realise at the time. But you know, I think there's a line in the sand that's been drawn under that, and the whole focus for this group has just been about the rugby and and um, building confidence. Like they've worked their butts off. They've worked incredibly hard. I, c I can't have asked any more of what this group of players have put into it. And so um, I think, I, you know, making a, co a comment or a statement like that is about building and having the confidence not in just what I say, but for the coaches and the players and just knowing how hard that they, that they work. And, uh, and if we go out there and we can implement the game plan and create that self-belief, then you know we we know that we're a tough team to beat, and and that for us early on was very much the focus. We didn't talk about winning uh, as a group. We just talked about just becoming a really bloody tough team to beat. And if you're a tough team to beat, then often the performance and the results come take care of of themselves because you get a group of players that start playing for each other and working hard and. Uh, doing the, the little bit extra and chasing a bit harder to, to go forward and to get back and being desperate defensively and we've seen that and, and I think that's why we were why we were where we are at the moment. Um, and I said we give a good performance on on Saturday and then we can start thinking about a quarter final. Thank you. Okay, and then yep. one in David and then we'll move to Welsh. One uh, the, the history lesson you talked about with Georgia was it just Georgian rugby or? Georgia in general. I, I, was, wondered, I was just talking about the similarities with Georgia and Wales, really, and you know, this uh, show the fort that they defend, and uh, you know, we're, we're we're very much the Welsh boys are very very similar to that. You know, it's kind of like you know when the Vikings come to 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 uh, England and that they didn't they didn't want to come across the border to. To, to fight the Welsh because how mad they were and how, how much they'd defend their own territory and space and you know the Georgians are very much like that and you look at their history and obviously they've had their own challenges and battles and wars as well so uh, yeah we're, we're very aware of that and, and are very aware of how proud they are as a people um, so that was kind of a little bit of the message in this morning. And just quickly, there are only four players from the team um, from 11 months ago. Is that a sign that you've very much got your stamp on the team now, the way you want them? No, I, I, don't. I don't. I don't think about that. I don't, I don't look at that. I just, it's about picking the best players and the best people and, and, and in the squad. I think we're in an outstanding place at the moment um, in terms of the morale within the squad and the banter that's going on. Um, behind the scenes, so there's a there's a lot of um, guys having the Mickey taking them out of them when it's when it's required. Not just the players, but the coaches as well. And but when they've had to knuckle down and and train, um, they've, they've been great from that point.
point of view. So I think there's a there's a really nice balance between hard work and and having a fun and having some fun and having a bit of a laugh. And when you're away from family and friends for so long, and you know we've been at it for, you know, for over four months now. So um, and hopefully we've got you know another three or four weeks to go. Okay, do you come out, Kenneth? Dewi sy'n meddwl bod nôl ar ôl collu'r gêm yn erbyn Australia o ystyried pan mawr gysydleol i'r tîm nawr. Ie, dyma ond ni gyda tîm gysydleol gysydleol iawn, ond na beth ni moyn mewn tîm felen. Dyma ond ni'n gyrru yn gilydd ddi i gwella ac i moyn ennill gêmau ar gyfer yn gilydd. Ond wrth gwrs, mae'n gweithi fi fod nôl ar y cae, os nes ma, a... Diolchgar iawn am y, am y champs. Fodd sy'n felly ffordd rygbi Cymru flwyddyn yn ôl, llain y hynny pan um, fodd Cymru wedi wynebu George a'n draw wahanol. Faint mae'r gêm yna wedi cael ei sôn yn ystod yr wythnos? Uh, wel, dim o gwbl uh, i fod yn onest. Um, Dyn nhw'n mae'r um, lle ni mewn nawr uh, yn well na ble oedd ni uh, falle um, rwyddyn yn ôl. Ond yn credu y, y grŵp ni gyda nawr ni yn uh, just edrych ar, ar gemau un ar y tro um, you know, gemau mawr o gem newydd uh, uh, a so yeah does dim, dim point o, o tymod edrych, edrych nôl ar canlyniadau a mynd off na uh, gem newydd yw hyn so yeah, ni wedi just fwn ffocus i ar y gemau Mae'r cefnogwyr o bosib ag un lle gael yn barod ar y ar y de, a mae'n ôl i Marseille, a hyd yn ôl falle ar ôl hynny o, o ystyried y trywydd. O, ydy hynny'n bryder a, a, a siwr ma'n ffocws i jyst ar, ar yr hyn sy'n digwydd yn bresennol? Yn credu ma'n hawdd i ni fel, fel tîm a, a, a'r carfan ni gyda i, i jyst ffocws i ar, ar game Georgia. Um, wrth gwrs, ni'n hapus iawn fod ni, ni barod uh, troedd allan o'r grŵp on um, Mae'r ffocws ni am ennill y gêm yma a curo pob tîm yn y grŵp mewn pedwar arno pedwar. Pob o'r? Diolch. Ok. Dyw i'n lle dysgofyn oedd y tîm wedi cael ei gyhoeddi di llun. Ffaint yw hanniaeth mae hwnna di'n neud i chi fel chwareiwyr o ran y paratoi ar gyfer y gêm yma? Wel, ie, wrth gwrs, bryd ni'n ymwybodol o'r tîm fach yn gynharach. Uh, mwy o amser gyda nhw'n gilydd ar y cae yn yr oedd nos, ond credu llawer yna oedd uh, ni'n gyda open training session di'n llun, felly um, dymod, bydd pobl yn y stafell ma di, di gweld y tîm cyn i tîm gael y gyhoeddi, so bach o, um, bach o yn rhaid gael ei wneud, ond ie, wrth gwrs, mae'n, mae'n helpu ni allan fel tîm. Um, mwy o amser gyda nhw'n gilydd ar y cae, a mwy o amser i, i gwella pethau a neu tweaks i'r I'r gêm ni eisiau chwarae ar y pan oethnos a um, ni'n ni gweld os mae'n mae gweithio ar dy sarn. Ok. Oh. Yeah, ok, we can do one last one then. Is this back in English? Yeah, it was supposed to start in 1945, which is now, so sorry. Ok. Yes, uh, to both, um, you seem to be peaking at the right time. Uh, is, is that something that was planned or things have just happened, I mean, you started against uh, Fiji, tough game, then you did what you did against uh, Australia. Is, 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 is it the right time to peak? And uh, it's both from a player's side and from a coaching side, please. Oh, I, I think it's important you, you, you try and get better. I think we've been excellent in the way that we've managed the players. Uh, we've got a pretty much a clean bill of health in terms of no injuries and stuff, and we haven't lost any players. Uh, that that is hugely important for a, you know a country like Wales. With we've got such a small playing base that if we pick up too many in injuries, and we have that has happened to us in the past when we've got to quarterfinals and semi-finals, and that's had a quite a significant impact on us. So um, yeah, I mean it was all about using the warm-up games for rotation, seeing where we were, seeing where the players were, and and for now it's about trying to get better game to game and then as you get into the business end of the tournament um, being prepared and um, you know hopefully being having improved your performances from week to week yeah we, we've spoken as a team about you know trending upwards 
from a performance point of view. Um, but I think the more you get to spend time together, uh, the more you know you train together and are together as a group. Uh, you're only going to gel more and um, you know be able to to put those relationships you make into action on the field, and that, that's only going to help you out in the long run. So I think. Uh, in terms of you know peaking, hopefully we haven't peaked yet. Uh, you know we still got a long way to go, but I think we're definitely trending in the right direction. Okay.